right, today we're going to talk about... Um, if you give a mouse a cookie, but it's what? what? In Spanish, right? It's in Spanish. So it's really cute because... It's by Laura Numeroff, and the illustrations are by Felicia Vaughn. <gasps> Yeah, it's really cute. It's just like a little children's, and it has all these cute little drawings. So why did you want to blog on this? Because it's sort of like a good um, beginning for, te for children to learn Spanish. That's right. And how did you read it? My dad, my dad um, said the rose that he's like, so, so like he said, all these words and it's, like, and it's just like, oh, well, this means this, and that means that, and so, yeah. So if you know what, so if you know Spanish, then you can tell your kids, so you can buy this book and tell your kids what they mean, so. Or you can learn Spanish with your kids. Yeah, because there's this online program, mm -hmm. and it's really easy to get because, like, there's um, all this stuff, there's these boxes of stuff that you need for the program. Yeah. And it's so, there, in fact, there's some resources we can tell you um, for learning Spanish online or whatever. We're not necessarily about, you know, giving you, there's, there's lots of good websites that will give you all those resources. But Seth really wanted to just mention, he's really into learning Spanish, and his dad speaks Spanish, and so... He, um, he really wants to learn it, and he has been doing some stuff online. We have some computer games. We have Rosetta Stone that he does, and we bought a whole bunch of children's books in Spanish. So that's just one idea. There are a lot of experts. Spanish immersion is, uh, works really, really well uh, for learning Spanish if you can pull it off, but learning Spanish the way children learn, or any language, French, German, whatever it is, if you learn it the way that children learn it, and you begin with child like language, it's a lot easier to learn. So even if you're an adult and you want to learn Spanish, I recommend that you go get a bunch of children's books in Spanish, look up the words, and you'll find that many of them repeat. And, you know, especially in a book like this, if you give a mouse a cookie, there's a lot of words that repeat, and you can learn what the verbs are and what the nouns are over time. But he just wanted to mention how valuable it was to listen to these children's books in Spanish from his dad. And here's one of the cute drawings that it That is really has. cute. It's a cute book in English, too. Alrighty. Yeah, so, Enjoy. Yeah, I, it's a cute book about this little mouse that shows up and the boy has to feed him a cookie and that yeah. turns into milk and that turns into sweeping the kitchen and drawing no, a picture. And it turns into um, getting the milk. It turns into... Um, cutting his hair. Cutting his hair. Okay, and well, then, we don't have time for yeah. all of it. Then turns into sweeping the floor. Yeah. That's right. So, so it's a cute si, little children. It's si le das una galletita a un raton, which si. is if you give a mouse a cookie. Yeah. Um, By Laura Numeroff and Felicia Bond. Yeah, I only enjoy like some of it. Bye.